everybody and welcome. Thanks for stopping by. We're at beautiful Harris Chester and we'll have an exciting half hour coming at you here of harness racing action. My name is Steve Ross and this lovely lady to my left is Shannon D'Antonio. She is the racing analyst here at Harris Chester. And we have an exciting afternoon plan, don't we? Action packed. A lot of stuff to get to. All right, let's get right to it. First of all, we will see the final of the Maxi Lee Memorial 250,000 bucks on the line. Everyone figured to be a match race between Buckeye St. Pat and before he cheats, but like many things that happen in this game, it didn't turn out exactly that way. As a matter of fact, anybody who bet a cold punch exactly with those two wound up being very disappointed. Okay. We'll go back in time to 1977 to Brandywine Raceway, and our feature is a blast from the past, and we'll have a look at one of the great ones, Rambling Willie with Bob Farrington setting a world record, 1977 at the Big B. We'll also get this skinny from Sonny, the paddock judge, who's going to talk to us about horse identification. A little bit more from Sonny coming up in the program. First, let's talk about the $250,000 Maxi Lee final held this past Sunday here at Harris Chester. Like you said, Tietrich's choice was the mayor, Buckeye St. Pat, and the other second choice at three to, that ended up going off three to two was Brian Sears and before he cheats. And they both drew the outside, so everybody wanted to know what was going to happen. And they didn't take them too long to find out once they came past the stands the first time. Tietrich pulls with the mayor. That's right. Well, the five two weeks notice was actually scratched, so they benefited by moving in a notch themselves. American Lane and the Catman, Cayenne Turbo and Andy Miller both leave as expected to set up one, two, and the Mare Queen Serene does make a costly break right at the start of the race. Tietrich and Sears both on closers. Let's take a look at the action. Here's James with the right rig with the call of the race. Off and trotting in the Maxi Lee, and American Lane left well from the center of the track with Cayenne Turbo. Beechnut Brand is up close, and Queen Serene made a break in stride just after the start. Queen Serene is on a break going into the first turn. It's American Lane in front by a length and three quarters from Cayenne Turbo, second by two. Beach Nut Brand is just off the speed. Man About Town is mid-pack and five lengths off the lead. Next in line is the favorite, Buckeye St. Pat. It's two lengths to before he cheats. And the distant trailer after that early break is Queen Serene. She's back trotting. The opening quarter was 27-3. and three. They come past us for the first time, and it's American Lane dictating the terms. The lead is a length and a quarter from Cayenne Turbo, who's alertly tracking from the pocket spot. Beach Nut Brand is an up-close third, Man About Town, four lengths off the lead, and Buckeye St. Pat moves out from fifth, tracked by Before He Cheats, and it's well back to Queen Serene. They're approaching the half-mile pole, led by American Lane, and they're halfway home in 56-4, and four, so a soft second quarter there of 29-1. and one. They're across the bridge and onto the backstretch. And American Lane opens back up a length and three quarters from Cayenne Turbo in second. Buckeye St. Pat is steadily gaining on the outside. The mare is just two lengths off the lead. Nowhere to go for Beach Nut Brand. Then before he cheats, second over, three lengths off the lead. Man about town angles third over. They move into the far turn, and it's still American Lane by a length. Buckeye St. Pat draws closer from second. Three quarters in 124 and three. They're midway around the far turn, and Buckeye St. Pat takes the lead by half a length from American Lane toward the inside. Before he cheats, is gaining in the center of the track. Out widest of all is Man About Town, and it's Buckeye St. Pat who turns first. She leads it a length and a half. Before he cheats, center of the track. Man About Town, widest of all. Buckeye St. Pat, Man About Town. Buckeye St. Pat takes the maxi lead. Buckeye St. Pat and Tim Tietrich score there in a new lifetime mark, 152 and two. She's actually the fastest female ever to trot on a five eighths with that mile. Ron Pierce and Man About Town comes up for second, 34 to 1, mm. nipping out Brian Sears and before he cheats, which was the second favorite in the race at 3 to 2. And for those who split the favorites, you know, on the trifecta, That's they, did, right. they did well there. Yeah, absolutely. But I thought she was tons of best. What do you think? She absolutely was the best. And as a matter of fact, in talking to the winning trainer, Ron Burke, we're going to hear right now what he has to say about the mayor. Tell us a little bit about Buckeye St. Pat. I mean, clearly she's handy on the 5-8. She's handy on the mile. She's proven herself. 
Is she another moneymaker? She's now professional, and that's the whole difference. Every race, every step is forward. Have we seen her at her best? I mean, she's gone a 152 and 2 today. She's impressive every time she hits the track. Have we seen her at her best, or do you feel she gets better each week? No, I think she gets better. You know, she's pretty special, and uh, she's just a really good athlete. You know, she's a little bit better on the small track than before he cheats, and she's really on top of her game right now, and uh, thank God she, you know, performed well in that race. Now, in that race, it appeared that because you came first over, you got the worst of the whole tri trip, and before he cheats, got a perfect trip behind you, but was gap in cover several times during the course of the race. You know, at the half, I'm scared to death because I know this horse behind me can absolutely fly off cover, and I'm out there taking all the air and doing all the work. And, you know, but uh, he had a little off day, and my mare was exceptionally good that day, so, you know, good I got my picture in the winter circle. And you made the right pick, obviously. Uh, obviously, yep. This week I did, yep. We'll be back later in the show with more from Tim Tietrich. I talked to him about his hot streak that he's currently on, 13 wins in two days. Shannon, what's going on here at uh, Harris Chester coming up? Actually, tomorrow, the upcoming Open is race 10. It is the feature of the day, the $40,000 pace. We have a couple of horses coming in that have yet to be seen here at Chester. My Panmar, who finished second in the Leafy to Special Report, mm -hmm. ships in for the first time. And also Boulder Creek, he's actually the track record holder from last year, 48-3, and three, makes his 2008 debut right here on tomorrow's Open. Hasn't he made about $3 million? Over $3 million. He's versus. a two-time Breeders' Crown Champion with over $3.2 million in career earnings. That's right, and he was just bought this past January at the Meadowland sale for 185000 New Connections debut him right here this Sunday. Well, when we come back after the break, we'll have a look at the Hemp Memorial Final. Big money right here. Don't go away. The all-new Harris Chester Casino is now open. It's the place where fun meets fabulous. The action starts with over 2,700 of the hottest slots, including hundreds of video poker machines. Plus, enjoy fabulous restaurants and bars, free parking in our convenient attached garage, and more. Best of all, fun and fabulous aren't far. Just off I-95 at exit 8. It's Harris Chester Casino, the new place to play slots. Now open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One breeder has had more winners than any other. One breeder has produced the most world champions. One breeder has held the record for earnings since records have been kept. One breeder has dominated the industry with the top stallions, the best broodmares, and the most sought after yearlings. Hanover Shoe Farms, the greatest name in harness racing.